Welcome to the Copier Learning Zone. Today we're going to uh, give training on setting up SMB scanning uh, on Windows XP for the Kyocera CopyStar 3050, 4050, and 5050 models. To get started here, the first thing we need to do is go to uh, My Network Places and right click on your mouse to go to Properties. From here, you want to go to the local area network that you are uh, currently using on your network and right, go to the properties. What we're looking for here, we want to make sure that file and printer sharing for Microsoft Networks is checked. Um, next, you want to go to the Advanced tab at the top here and under Windows Firewall Settings, let's click this button and make sure that your firewall is always on. We're going to be next going to the uh, exceptions button here and we want to make sure that the firewall allows us to do file and printer sharing so we're going to make sure that box is checked and uh, press OK and then you can go out of this uh, box, we'll close that out and network connections, we'll close this and the next step we want to uh, double click on my computer and we're going to go to the tools button here and go to folder options and here we want to go to your view tab under folder options and down it in the advanced settings here we want to scroll to the very bottom where it says use your simple use simple file sharing recommended please uncheck this box that oops not that one this one and go ahead and press OK uh, the next thing we need to do is create a folder for our scans to uh, go into and we're going to want to do that on your uh, C drive if that's the name of your main hard drive and we want to create a folder here so we're going to uh, right click your mouse go to new folders and I'm going to name our folder it's going to be called SMB scans okay also keep in mind uh, that in the, in the in a little bit later everything that we type in has to match exactly the way we type it in uh, even case sensitive so as you can see here I have SMBS is, is capitalized so uh, that's very important uh, we also need to share this folder that we just created so we're gonna right click on that and scroll up to sharing and security and then press the share this folder button and then also go over to the permissions button and uh, make sure that the per permissions for everyone that we allow all three uh, full control change and read are checked and then press OK and then we need to press OK again Okay. And as you can see now, uh, there's the, a little hand uh, holding the folder that's telling you that it's a shared folder now. So we'll scroll out of here. Okay. The next step we need to do is uh, go onto uh, the internet. Uh, and then in the address bar, you need to type in the IP address of the copier that we're going to uh, print and scan from. <coughs> But before we go any further, we need to uh, take a, write down a couple important things um, before we go to the Kyocera Command Center. There's some inputs there that have to be exact. Uh, first thing we need to do is go to Start and then up to the uh, Control Panel. And what we want to do is see what the name of the computer is. Uh, so we'll go actually the user your uh, when you log into Windows we want to go to user accounts it'll show the different users that are set up and 
this is my login is John with uppercase J lowercase o h n the password um, uh, has to be typed in uh, on the command center so just maybe want to n note this and write it down on a little uh, scratch pad for uh, later on Okay, also which we need to know is the host name of the computer. Uh, to find that out you go to start, go to run, and in the run uh, bar here just type in CMD and press enter. And then we have our uh, DOS screen here. We want to type in uh, host name and press enter and right here it'll tell you what the host name is again uh, pay very close attention to uppercase and lowercase it has to be uh, entered exactly in uh, in the, the um, command center uh, exactly the way it you, see, you see it here let's exit out of here and now we can go ahead and go into our browser and just go in and type in the IP address of the uh, copier that we're going to be scanning and printing to. That's in there. Just go ahead and uh, press enter and it'll go to the Kyocera command center. That basically shows the machine status. It's in ready condition. It shows the toner level. And what we need to do now is we need to go to scanner go down to the SMB folder and we want to make sure that the protocol is turned on and this is the port that we're going to be using and I will just go back and check email if we want to set up our email account uh, this would be the subject that the uh, receiving party would see as the subject and you can enter in a message here to go along with the scanned uh, file. Let's go back to basics and we need to go down to address book and set up an account. So we go to contacts. We want to go ahead and add contact. Okay, And this is where you would want to put uh, the contact information. This will show up on the screen on the copier and so I'll just put John email address that we want to set it up for. And remember the host name of our uh, computer what we looked up. Uh, we know that that is as follows. has to be case sensitive. Remember that. The path is the file name and uh, we don't want to put the uh, hard drive C in there. We just want to type in exactly what we typed in earlier. And the username and login is what you would use uh, for when you log into Windows on your computer. So we'll go ahead and set. and we don't have a fax machine on this machine so we'll just leave those settings alone as well. So we'll get down to the bottom and press submit. It'll go ahead and save our changes. It'll actually updating the uh, uh, scan card on the, co on the copier and programmed it and there's our name. So now we just need to go over to the copier and do a test scan. Send it to our email. We press send and we will go to the address book and we're looking for John and its email address press that press OK set original in the feeder and press start okay let's go see if it uh, went to our email go to uh, our email and see if we received it here just Standard business machines. Click on and from CopyStar. There it is. Let's open it up. Click on the attachment. And there it is. And we're done.